Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss sdfs dfs hyphen put command in details. So let me do sdfs dfs how and put. You can see the option. The first option is uh, flag p. If you are using flag p, then it will preserve access and modification times, ownership and the mode. Hyphen f, it will work as override the destination if it is already exist. Okay, and hyphen l allow the data node to lazily persist the file to disk forces replication factor of one this flag will result in reduced durability use with care okay so we are going to discuss these options so let me create a file so this file will be hello.txt and let me type something welcome to mkd make sure let me save it so hello.txt is there let me see the permission you can see this is the root owner's root and this is the permission read write read and read okay so let me clear it and let me do ldra and then let me go to that uh, commands once again the help command you can see hyphen p put the access and modifications time ownership and a mode okay so let me list some directory stfs tfs hyphen ls then kafka there is nothing inside kafka so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this file with this access to kafka okay so let me do a modification let me change the permission of this file okay ch mode 700 and then hello.txt and let me check the permission you can see the permission is changed okay the earlier permission was this and now it's changed now we are going to test the first one we are going to upload this hello file to kafka directory okay so let me do stfs dfs hyphen put and then kafka Hyphen put we need to specify the file name hello.txt and then Kafka. So you can see the permission is only 700. And now let me do ls and then you can see the permission is changed. Okay once we are uploading this file from local to sdfs the permission change so if we need to preserve the access and modification time on our permission we need to use this flag so let me do one thing let me make a directory stfs dfs fn mktir Kafka then Kafka one okay so let me move this new file with the flag p to Kafka one so let me do that sdfs tfs hyphen put hello.txe Kafka then inside Kafka there is Kafka one okay so let us check whether the permission and all details are same or not let me do a ls let me do this recursively so you can 
see I have did a mistake one second since I didn't put the flag so let me remove this file sorry for the mistake hello.txt let me remove this file since I was supposed to use this flag p and this file is deleted now what we are going to do we are again going to put that file with flag fnp okay so let me do that let me do a list i'm listing up to kafka okay so you can see the first time when i was uploading that file that hello.txt the permission was changed and now when i am using the flag p that then the permission is not changed okay so if you want to upload some file and you don't need to change the permission and ownership etc then you need to use the hyphen p flag okay so you can see from this example when we use without hyphen p then all permission was changed and now when we use hyphen p then the same permission we had on the local you can see the local permission and the sdfs permission okay so this first thing is tested second things we are going to do some overrides okay so this uh, file let me do some modification hello.txt welcome to mkd mixture so i am doing some modification here so i have done this modification let me yeah i have added this one please subscribe mkd mixture for more hardware video so what i'm going to do i'm going to upload this file with flag p to this new directory kafka and kafka one okay let me put uh, this file kafka and kafka one so let me see what is the error you can see the file is already exist okay so it is not allowing to upload the file since it already exists so here from the definition what we can learn if we use hyphen f flag it will override the destination if it already exists okay so let me use hyphen f flag you can see and uh, the file is uploaded okay so let me read the contain of this file you can see please subscribe and get the mixture for more video okay if you want to change the uh, permission and ownership also then you can check fnls fnr let me do recursively you can see the permission also same since we use we use hyphen p okay so if you want to overwrite the things then you need to use hyphen f and if you need all permission and access ownership everything then you need to use hyphen p okay so guys uh, the third option i cannot test here since i'm using cloudera quick start so this is first and second step you can you can use in the production also so it is a very important step you need to remember guys if you like my video please subscribe for more video thank you